was an Australian DJ speaking out for the first time, full of remorse for that royal hoax gone tragically wrong. ABC Cecilia Vega is in Sydney, Australia with the latest. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. You know, the DJs say this was supposed to be a simple, harmless prank. They say it was supposed to be a phone call that lasted no more than 30 seconds. They thought they would be hung up on immediately. But now we all know that is far from what happened. Personally, I'm... <sighs> the two Australian DJs behind that now infamous phony phone call came out of hiding overnight offering a tearful apology on Australia's Channel 9 TV to the family of the nurse who became the butt of a joke heard around the world. Shattered, gutted, heartbroken. Mel and myself are incredibly sorry for the situation and, 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 and what's happened. There's not a minute that goes by that we don't think about her family and what they must be going through. And the thought that we may have played a part in that is... It's garishing. Oh, hello there. Could I please speak to Kate, please, my granddaughter? Oh, yes, just hold on now. DJs Mel Gregg and Michael Christian say they never imagined they'd get through to the hospital where Kate Middleton was recovering from severe morning sickness. And they never could have predicted what would follow. That days later, Jacintha Saldana, the nurse who patched their call through to Kate's room, would be found dead from an apparent suicide. We both found out about the same time, and I think it was... <sighs> it's the worst phone call I've ever had in my life. The global backlash has been fierce, from online death threats to calls for prison. The DJ's radio station announced it is banning phony phone calls altogether and suspending advertising indefinitely. And the popular team is off the air, silenced indefinitely, but with one final thing to say. I wanted to just reach out to them and just give them a big hug and say sorry. <laughs> and I hope they're okay, I really do. And the DJ said higher ups at their station made the final decision to air this call. Lawyers were also involved in that, but George, not once during this interview did the DJs express any reservations about airing their prank.